Joe Cern. Oh my fucking god! What's up buddies? So you may have already seen in a previous video where I showed you how to make manual runs to get through on goal. Well today I'm going to show you how to beat the keeper every single time you're in a 1v1 situation. Now you might be saying to yourself, Manners, what's the criteria for this? I don't have the coins for R9 or Eusebio. To which I would reply with, that's where you're wrong. You silly bitch. This can be performed with anyone in the game, even goalkeepers. It's literally the easiest thing you'll ever do in your life. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is right now. So sit down. Okay, are you ready? <coughs> Ball rolls. What did he say? Ball rolls, in my opinion, are criminally overlooked in FIFA this year. You can use them to make a pocket of space, any player can do them, most of all, beating the keeper in a 1v1. Now, I don't know the science behind it, but obviously there is always something in the game that is overpowered or meta, and when it comes to scoring, it's definitely ball rolling the keeper. Now, obviously, this won't require much of a tutorial, because I'm sure by this point we all know that you can do a ball roll by holding the right stick, either left or right. However, I do have some tips that I feel could help you, and overall improve the success rate of the ball roll in the 1v1 situations. So, let's get into it. Tip number one, when you find yourself running towards your opponent's goal with no one around, as soon as you have your first touch in the box, you're going to want to let go of the sprint button. Because your player will be running full tilt towards the keeper, they won't be able to have the right amount of ball control and they'll end up just running into the keeper. Trust me, I've made this mistake too many times. Tip 2. You're not going to want to hold any buttons after you stop sprinting. Just dribble with the left stick towards the keeper and once you're about a yard's distance, you're going to want to ball roll away from the keeper. The reason you don't want to go inside the keeper is a lot of the time your opponent's defenders will be running back to try and make ground up through the middle, so if you ball roll inside you could find yourself being tackled by the centre backs. But enough with the jibber jabber, I'm going to jump into a couple games right now and show you just how effective ball rolls can be in game. Let's go! Right, what's he got? Uh, it's all right. Let's do this! Fuck, 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 fuck! Can you get the fuck out of my feet? There it is! Oh, my boy. And perhaps, surely not again. I don't believe it! Oh my god, 86th minute at the death. I think we've got the cajons to do it. Oh, Mbappe! Oh, me so horny, I called it. I did three ball rolls. Honestly, you've got to try this out. Huge performance that was. Okay. Oh my god, he's got ones to watch Messi. Yeah. He's, he's the best dribbler I've ever seen. He's the best passer I've ever seen. He scores as many goals as anyone I've ever seen. What he does, I think, more than anything else, he brings joy. Can we? Oh. He's falling back to Gary. Gelson. Oh my fucking god! Oh my oh shit! Have you ever seen such bull work in your life? Oh fuck, here we go. Here it is, here he is. The boy wonder. <laughs> there it is! It was messy. It was messy, but we got there in the end. Alright, we're not losing this. I refuse. There it goes. Oh, you just need to behave yourself right now, sir. Oh my god. It's just so broken. I love it. So there you have it. Another simple piece of skill that you can add to your games to really take advantage of your 1v1 situations. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did want to watch any of these things happen live, head over to my Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Other than that, be yourself. You're doing great.